How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARC Let's Build video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this Noglin pen that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with voiceover instructions so you can get this build on your ARC. And for a full list of building materials as well as the map cords where I built this, make sure you check out the description below. But anyways guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is lay down our foundation. So we're going to start off by placing a regular stone foundation. Then we'll go ahead and place a stone triangle foundation. And we're just going to continue alternating through these until we reach our start point. And so now this will make up the foundation for our build. So go ahead and switch all of those regular stone foundations to block. Next, we're going to add our pillars. So we're going to start off by coming to one of our normal stone foundations and adding a wooden fence foundation right here. Go ahead and do that on all of the regular stone foundations. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and get out a stone pillar and place one on each side of that and then add a wooden pillar on top. And again, go ahead and do this on every side where we placed those fence foundations. Now we're gonna come back to whichever side you wanna be where your entrance is. So for me, I'm gonna choose this side right here. And we're gonna come inside of it to the inside of that foundation and add three high wooden pillars. And we just wanna make sure they're facing in the same direction as the pillars right in front of them. So to get this, you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, just to make sure you get the one that lines up straight. We're going to skip this foundation and come to this one and do the same thing. And again, we're going to skip this foundation, come to this one and do the same thing right here. Next, we're going to head inside of our build to the other side of our regular foundation. And right here, we're going to get out a wooden double door frame. Now, you'll be able to see the green highlight inside of the pillar. Go ahead and place that down and then add two more on top of it. And just go ahead and do this on every side that has the regular stone foundations. All right, next we're gonna start building up our first layer of wall. So right here on our front where we have this regular stone foundation, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone door frame and fill that in with a reinforced door. Then on every side that has the triangle foundations, we're gonna add a stone wall. And now we'll go back to all of our remaining sides where we have the regular foundations and we're gonna place thatch door frames and these are only gonna be temporary. We will end up picking them up. All right, now we're going to go ahead in here to one of our sides where we have the thatch door frame and we're going to add a thatch ceiling in front of it. Then we're going to go ahead and get out a metal railing and we are going to possibly need to rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. But you're going to be looking for this light blue snap point. So go ahead and place that down and that's placing on the thatch ceiling. Go ahead and add one more on top. Go ahead and pick up your thatch ceiling and then we're just going to replace the thatch door frame with a stone door frame. And the reason we're doing it this way is because you cannot place things in front of a stone door frame. So we have to use the thatch first and then replace it. So now just go around to every side where we have the thatch door frames and do the same thing. Next, we're going to come to the front of our build here and place a stone stair in front of our door. Then we will head inside to the center of this ring and we're going to go ahead and drop a stone stair down from each of these foundations. Now we'll go ahead and get out a stone railing and we're going to start off right here on this side where we have the metal railings. We're going to place a stone railing right here and right here. We're going to skip this bay and do it again right here. 
And then again, we will skip this bay and do it again right here. Now for our next layer of walls, we're gonna start off by placing a thatch door frame right here above our entry. And we're gonna fill that in with a greenhouse door. And we are just gonna do this to every side of this second level. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get out a thatch ceiling and place it right here in front of this thatch door frame. And we're just gonna do that on every side of the build. Now, once you have that done, come to one of our sides here where we have the stone wall down below. And up here on top, go ahead and get out a stone railing. And we are again going to rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that you get this light blue snap point right here. Then you can go ahead and replace that thatch door frame with a wooden door frame. Now we're going to go to the next spot over and you'll notice down below we have the metal railings. So when we come up top here and get out our stone railing and start rotating through the snap point, you may notice a lower snap point. You want to continue rotating until you get this higher one that is in line with our other stone railing. Go ahead and again destroy the thatch with a wooden door frame. And we are just going to repeat this process on every side. And now once you have all of those replaced, you can just go ahead and pick up or destroy all of those thatch ceilings. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and build our roof. So starting off here on the front, we're gonna go ahead and place a stone stair coming down like this. And we're just gonna go ahead and do this on every side that has the regular stone foundations. Now on our corners where we have the triangles, we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone triangle roof and rotate through the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system until you get it facing upward. And again, go ahead and do this on every corner. Now we're gonna to come to the very top of the build right here, and we're gonna get out a metal catwalk and just place one coming out like this on every side. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring all of our Noglins in. I'm going to go ahead and do some painting and decorating on this build. So guys, if you want to see that, stick around for one more second, and I will show you what I come up with. All right, guys, so as you can see, I have applied a paint scheme here on the outside. So I was trying to go with something that kind of looked like the wildlife in the background. Um, so we have the cyan color here on the pillars and the greenhouse doors. Uh, we have the magenta color up here on our roof to kind of cap off the top like those flowers in the background. We have mud on all of the wooden portions there and then just black here on these railings. And then I left the stone alone. We'll go ahead inside real quick and I'll show you some of the stuff that we've done on the inside. So I have thrown up some torches here on each pillar and put angler gel in them to give us this kind of creepy uh, bluish glow here on the inside. We've obviously brought in a whole bunch of Noglins in here in each little bay. They're really great because you can actually uh, get on and control them and walk them around, which makes it really easy to kind of put them where you want them here in their little pen. We just got some vessels here at the entrance and just some general clutter all around and a few chairs here where we can kind of sit and interact with them. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below. And guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future Arc Let's Build videos. I will be doing all kinds of builds related to Gen 2. Also, guys, make sure you check out the description below for a link to my Twitter as well as my Discord where you can stay up to date with me and come hang out and chat with me and all of my friends. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.